Hi, I am Michael Karosh and welcome to Design Santa Barbara. We are today in Santa Barbara Design Center and we are going to be looking at our favorite moments with my friend Mariah Deruni. Please join us. The, the room is fairly small, but it's a cottage. This is a cottage home and it'll have a cozy feel. Well, it looks already somewhat all right. <laughs> right. And this is one of the pieces that my client brought back from India uh, along the Malabar coast, which is the southwest, southwest coast of India. India, yes. And it's called the Dhammachia, and it was used for the dowry for the young brides. Absolutely fine. It looks beautiful. And it is a, it is a real antique. And it's one of those we're going to use. Right, we'll keep that one. Keep around, yeah. work around it. Mm -hmm. And about the chairs, what are the deal? The with chairs them? are Biedermeyer chairs, and they're, um, they're distressed and hand planed uh, with a beautiful dark brown velvet on there. Okay, it's one of the other items we keep. Yes, right. right. And that's the art you're talking and about? And the color of the artwork um, is just a great color for more of a spicy feel with the copper. A lot of the copper and the terracotta. Terracotta and copper. All right. And what are you imagining to do? Well, let's start with, um, I just wanted to let you know about the floor a little bit. The, what is it? The floor is actually a eucalyptus from a sheep's barn in New Zealand. And oh, it was wow. shipped all the way over here. And it just has a, um, it has an oil finish, so there's no varnish or anything on that. It's, it's a very old floor. And so that's why it's kind of distressed and we kept all of that. We kept all of the, the holes from before. It looks very beautiful and original. Yeah. Well, it is. Very good. Yes, they used to shear sheep on it. The other um, challenge for this house is that the windows are too low. And so we did some painting up here to kind of heighten and bring up the windows a little more because the ceiling is a lot taller than the windows. So when we were talking about challenges before, that was my main challenge. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice it. Now you say I noticed this. Yeah, thing. Right. That's very, very, very clever. So what are your thoughts about the furnishings, the carpets, the upholstery and the accessories? Well, the room is pretty small, like I said, and so we want to keep it cozy. Um, also, the exterior of the house, the garden is so beautiful, and the front doors over there. I would like you to be able to see all the way through this into the yard because uh, I think the yard is a huge part of this house, how it comes inside. So I want to keep this really light in here. And more neutrals? N well, maybe. Uh, I'd like to keep some of the more spicy colors in there, the, um, the terracottas and copper. And also, I love, I love to bring in a deep purple. Maybe. Oh, wow. But that should be interesting. Just exotic colors. Okay. But we have to keep the room really light. So, so maybe, maybe, sorry, maybe yes. we should start with the carpet. Yeah, so I was going to say, um, I found a carpet at your place, and it is a kind of a golden color and I and it has a little bit of the terracotta in there and it's very light All and right. then and then just do the accents in the really rich deep colors okay well that sounds good to me gentlemen can we get the rug please all right maybe close to the fireplace yeah that's good great that looks like a perfect color for this place so maybe you should look which side you like better um, the rugs are hand woven and they all have a nap and then usually there's one side that's a lot lighter than the other side and I'm seeing that this side looks like it's a lot lighter looking at it from this way. So I'm going to go over here and I see that it's much darker over here. So I like that when you come in the room you see the darker side, it's going to have a little more impact. I um, found this rug at your store and I just want to know a little bit more about it. Uh, it's a hand woven rug. It is hand woven. It is all hand knotted actually mm -hmm. and it is all made of hand spun wool and natural dyes. thing with it is the dyeing art. Unfortunately the labor is very very high intensive on this mm -hmm. and doesn't make financially sense to make these nowadays anymore but mm -hmm. I'm a rugaholic. I love to make them. It's a real deal. and It's made exactly like one would have been made 100 years ago. So what would you like to come next? Um, I think I'd like to bring the sofas in. I've, I've uh, found some white sofas and we will, some white chenille sofas, and we'll try those out. 
I'm pretty sure they're gonna look good. Okay. Can we get the two sofas, please? Wow, these are some of my favorite sofas. And this one has a great depth. I, I love sofas that are really deep. I love because you can actually put your feet on them. And actually, these um, I like the Scotch Guard sofas, so I'm not too worried about getting them dirty. Uh, they, clean, they clean easily. Why did you choose the style? I love the style because it's... Um, it's not an old-fashioned style, and yet it's not modern either. It's sort of a transitional style, a very clean style. I like it a lot, and looks good in your room. Okay, so you're ready to go get some color? Let's go. Okay. Can we get the coffee table? That's a beautiful coffee table you chose. I well, you I chose it from your place. Oh, well, thank you. So this coffee table looks like it's hand-planed. You can tell by if you run your hand over it, you can feel the undulation from the hand planers. I also see that it has some uh, inlay in there with a different wood. But this comes from your store. You must know a little more about well, it. Well, actually, you're very correct. Okay. So this table is made out of old wood. We mm -hmm. try to reclaim and recycle as much as we can. So mm -hmm. we make the table out of old mahogany with inlays of old walnut. Yeah. And that actually gives a character to it. Not only helps the nature, but also mm -hmm. makes something that looks old without being old. Mm -hmm. It's a transitional, as you mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. and a, I love this table, personally. All right, well, Michael, let's go bring in some color. Let's go. All right, where would you like this table? I, I, I would like to put it over here. I like the light color on that. And then, yeah, that one goes on the other side. Okay, so Michael, I'd like to bring in a couple of more seating. So for the owner has some family, and so we're going to be bringing in some very small seating that can be moved around. Oh, that's why you got the ottomans. Mm-hmm. Really small. Yep, that's very it. Very usable. Mm-hmm. Might move it back just a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's bring in some accessories. Let's bring some accessories. Okay. You know, like the elephant over there with the scarf underneath it, the scarf that has all the beautiful colors on it. All right. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't like it laid perfectly straight. I like it a little bit like it's been thrown on. Wow, I love the way the room came together. I love the colors. I love the depth of the colors. Is that the spice colors you said? It is. And I love that the room is basically a real light color to bring in more of the natural light. 